So I am trying something new that the Lord just put on my heart. And this is exciting because only God knows what his plans are for us and what he wants for us to do. And I believe that this is right along with what God is calling me to do to reach people and to speak to people and to share with people what it is God is doing within me. And maybe it can help you and maybe it can bless you as it is helping me grow. So over the last couple of weeks, I have just been getting in my spirit the desire to move from focusing on the temporary things to focusing on the eternal things. The scripture in the Bible that comes to mind is 2 Corinthians 4, verse 16 through 18. It says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving us for an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to just confess. My entire life, I have been distracted by bills, finances, Things have appeared in my life that caused me to worry about finances. As far back as I can remember, even during my marriage, the majority of the time I was the main breadwinner. So my mind was always focused on providing providing it was like i literally had to provide for my entire household and that was just something that kind of stuck with me but throughout i would say starting in 2010 till now God had done so many things in my life that drew that drew me closer to him. And where I am right now today is seeking God every day in all things and realizing that a lot of the things that was put in my way were distractions. Like, why was I distracted? What in the world did I need to be distracted for? And the revelation has come to me that I was distracted by the devil because God has such a huge calling on my life to reach so many people for whatever his reasonings are that the devil had to try to distract me because of my character first and foremost the reason why i said it is because my character is when i when i get into something and i do it i mean i go hard at it i go with everything i have within me to do that ain't no half stepping ain't no no it's like when i'm in it i'm in it and i go hard and that's what I've always done. I've gone hard for so long with providing for my family, for taking care of my family. And then it's like God finally got me to the place where he's like, you know what? I'm your provider. I'm the one that's going to provide for you. So all you got to do is trust me and do what I'm calling you to do to reach the people so that you can work and what I need you to work in. And so now it's like so many things are starting to be revealed to me. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And the distraction has come 
Because the devil knows that what God has on my life, if he if he does not distract me, I'm going to wreck shop. Because when I go in, I go hard. And when I go hard against the devil, he going to lose. He going to lose. So that's why I believe that I have been distracted for so many years. But now I am here. And for the last couple of weeks, God has just been showing me, think on things that are eternal. Your eternal calling, your eternal blessings. And the eternal to me is, in comparison to the temporary, is stop worrying about finances. Stop focusing on the finances and Focus on the souls that need to be saved. Mm. That is eternal. Because guess what? All this other stuff, this, oh, we got to have a job and we got to have a good business and we got to have this. All of that stuff is temporary. If you are not in your calling and walking in your purpose, everything else is temporary. And all those other things will perish. The only things that will leave this earth are our, our souls. It's us. I'm about to get that, whatever it is. But it's us. So we gotta, we gotta, come on, baby. I'm about to kill you. Where you at? Um, so we have to focus on what's more important but we get so distracted oh hold up distracted you see that <laughs> distracted but let me tell you i don't care what kind of distractions come up in my way i'm gonna knock them out just watch let that little fly come around here one more again and let me see how quick it, it takes for me to kill him because i'm going in when i go for something i go hard so it's time to start focusing on the things that are eternal. The things that are more eternal are us. All this other stuff, it's going to perish. It don't mean nothing. What are you doing to walk in your purpose? What has God called you here to do? And I thought about that this morning. A lot of people say they don't know what their purpose is. They don't know what their calling is. But here is what the Lord has told us. Teach and preach the good news of God's kingdom. That is everybody's purpose and everybody's calling. Now, God will show you in what areas he will even guide you as you take those leaps and steps of faith into your purpose. He'll show you, you know, which areas you need to focus on more and which ones your gifting is actually in and which ones you probably need to go a little, you know, lean over to that way in regards to doing that way. But that is what all of us are supposed to do. We are to preach and teach others about Jesus. That's it. That's what we are supposed to do. If you are not doing that, you are not walking in your purpose. And you need to talk to God and you need to say, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready, God. My life, it don't even matter like how good your life is. It can always be better with God. When you give it over to God, it will always be better with him. And so I'm thinking and I'm just like, you know what? Eternal, man. Eternal. We not down here for long. Most of us will be blessed to see 80, 90 years of age. Wherever we go after here, that's where we're going to spend our eternity. What are we doing for our eternal lives? This right here where we are is the dress rehearsal to where we're going. What are you being prepared for? Where are you being prepared to go? It starts here. It starts now. Start talking to God and start moving on sharing and preaching and teaching to other people about God and about Jesus. And I guarantee you, God will 
lead you and guide you in how to do it, the best ways to do it, the ways that fit you the best because he knows you the best. And so that's what has been in my spirit for the last couple of weeks. And I'm like, you know what? I just want to help people. I don't want to focus on me. I don't want to be distracted by focusing on my finances and stuff because that stuff is temporary. God said that he shall provide all of my needs. All of them. He didn't say, oh, I'm a, I think I might. Yeah. If you do, yeah, I'm going to get you. No, but if you go, no. He said he shall. He shall, all of them, not some of them, not just for this month and not just for this week. He said all of them. That means I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to worry about it. He going to take care of me and he going to take care of me who's taking care of other people. So trust and believe that God will do the same for you.